Many of us are holding out for a cure for diabetes to be announced. In 2012, there is yet to be such a cure found, but researchers are exploring various avenues that may one day lead to one. In this video, we'll look at the various avenues that researchers are currently exploring. Researchers are working on a vaccine to help people with type 1 diabetes from losing their insulin-producing cells. The body turns on its own insulin-producing cells and periodically kills them off. A vaccine would prevent this from happening. To date, in 2012, the vaccine has had success with rodent trials, but is yet to demonstrate the same success with human trials. Researchers are discovering more about the causes of type 2 diabetes, but as yet there are no clear avenues towards a cure. With this said, there is a lot of development going into the reversal of type 2 diabetes. Methods which result in a significant weight loss have been successful in helping people to control their blood glucose level and in some cases coming off their diabetes medication. Methods such as bariatric surgery and very low calorie diets have also been successful in allowing people to come off medication. Islet cell transplants are perhaps the closest we've come to a cure for type 1 diabetes. Islet cell transplants involve injecting insulin producing islet cells into the body. Transplantation has proved to significantly reduce your insulin dosage requirements. However, the benefits of transplantation tail off with time and people need to take quite powerful anti-immune drugs to prevent the body from attacking the transplanted cells. A number of companies are attempting to be the first to produce an artificial pancreas system. An artificial pancreas would likely be worn on the outside of the body and would continually measure blood sugar levels and deliver the appropriate amount of insulin. It would not necessarily be a cure, but would represent a way of treating type 1 diabetes without the need for injections or continual dosing decisions.